Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about something that is super common in our society, and it's something that I don't like and I want us to move away from. And that is making repeated assertions of some controversial point. I see this all the time, especially on the internet, but I see it a lot in person too. The idea is that there's some sort of statement, like it could be an opinion about a particular political figure, or it could be a stance on a particular issue, and people will just state, oh, this thing, like, this is this. It could be such and such politician is an idiot, or such and such person is great, or it could be some sort of stance, like, I made a video some time back about trans women and trans men, and how there's this rhetoric going on out there that sort of goes back and forth between trans women are women, and trans women are really men. And like, it's sort of these two competing statements. And you see it with a uh, dialogue on abortion. Like you have stuff like, uh, people say, oh, abortion is murder, and people say all sorts of other stuff about other viewpoints on the abortion issue. And I don't like any of these statements, and I don't like them whether or not I agree with the statement. And the, the main reason is not just the statement itself, but it's the context in which the statement is voiced. It's the context in which it's used, and by context I mean both who the statement is voiced to, and what surrounds it, like what people say leading up to it, and what people say afterwards. And one of the things that bothers me is that there's a lack of explanation a lot of the times. People will just assert something, and sometimes they'll assert it repeatedly, and they won't explain their reasoning. And when they do explain their reasoning, there's often an absence of them demonstrating that they understand objections to that viewpoint, and they don't really engage with the potential objections. And it's not very hard to find objections to any of those viewpoints that I found out there. Like, we all have the internet. If you watch this, you definitely have the internet. So you can go on the internet, you can find whatever viewpoint you want to. And this is, this is where it gets me. But I want to take a little bit of an aside, and I want to talk about propaganda, because I think this topic relates to propaganda. I think that the practice of merely asserting something over and over again, repeating it over and over again, is one of the most common tools in propaganda. You see it in advertising, brands trying to create some sort of positive association with them, or a negative association with their competitors, so that you buy their product. And you also see it in political propaganda, and you see it in sort of milder forms of propaganda, but also extreme things, like during Nazi Germany. And what, what you see is that people will just voice a certain viewpoint over and over and over again. And there's this degree to which, once people hear that viewpoint enough, they start to really believe it. And it's especially true if it's coming from a source that they tend to trust. So you might have a source that is somewhat trustworthy to some people, and then it keeps asserting a certain thing, and people come to believe it as being true. And like, this is what happened during Nazi Germany. People started, people in the Nazi party started this rhetoric of blaming the Jews, and blaming all these other minority groups for all these problems in society. And so people started to believe that, and they started to scapegoat those people. And that was what facilitated the atrocities that happened. And if you look at the reasoning, there really isn't that much reasoning behind it. Like, if you're, if you're like, well, why are the Jews so bad? Why are these other groups so bad? If you start examining the reasoning, it breaks down. But it's not a rational thing. And this is the danger between this sort of practice of asserting things repeatedly. If we allow ourselves and others to do this, as a society, if we tolerate this practice, we make ourselves vulnerable to propaganda, including really pernicious propaganda that could lead to violence and genocide and horrible things happening. We've seen this as a human race. It's in our history, it happens over and over again. Um, and I want to prevent this kind of thing from happening. But it bothers me that 
that people are doing this thing left and right. They're asserting things over and over again without explaining them and without engaging with the opposing viewpoint. I want to propose a really radical idea here, which is that if you care about doing something about stopping these really horrible problems like hate, genocide, things like that, one of the most powerful ways of doing that is to start by examining your own behavior. And it can be a little bit terrifying, but you may find that you are doing some of these same things yourself. You are repeating statements as fact that are controversial. Now you may really believe these things, and I think that's fine, but if you are just going around asserting these things, you're supporting and you're normalizing the behavior of doing that. And that behavior can be used to advance all sorts of untruthful viewpoints. So it doesn't really matter on a broad scale, it doesn't matter all that much that the things that you're advocating might be true. It doesn't matter whether or not they're true. Even if they're true, by advancing your viewpoint in that way, you're kind of validating this way of advancing viewpoints that could also be used to advance untruthful things. So what is a better way of doing things? I think a better way of doing things is, it's sort of twofold. One of them is to engage more with things on a deeper level. Now if you watch my channel, you'll find that I do my best to do this. I try really hard to explain things in depth. Um, I try to explain viewpoints that I disagree with, and I try to do so without demonizing the people who hold those viewpoints. So this is something I would recommend. Listen to people who have opposing viewpoints, and try to find the most reasonable examples of those viewpoints, and then engage with them. Like, it doesn't matter if you can refute the extreme viewpoints, anybody can do that. Try to find the more well-reasoned, moderate viewpoints, and engage with them. If you can pick holes in those, you probably have a pretty good argument. That's going to be a lot more convincing to someone like me, who's thinking actively about what you're saying. So that's my first, my first recommendation, is to, to expose yourself to these different viewpoints, to listen to them, to understand them, and to really engage with them. And whenever you want to make a statement about a controversial point, acknowledge the most reasonable of the opposing viewpoints, and say, well, I've heard such and such, now I don't agree with that for this reason, here's my viewpoint. I think that's ultimately much more persuasive, and that will help people get to the bottom of things. And you're also setting a good example for people of a type of behavior that society would benefit from if more people emulated that. Now that's the one side of it. What's the other, other side of it? It's, simply put, it's to shut up. If you haven't listened to the opposing viewpoints, if you don't understand them, if you are just repeating yourself, stop. Just stop doing that. You, you might be hurting people by doing that. And I think it's really important, like, really important to think about that. Yes, the viewpoint you're voicing might be true. First of all, it might not be. But second of all, even if it is, you are still validating this way of thinking and this way of spreading ideas that could be used to advance all sorts of untruthful things. And in the long run, if we buy into that viewpoint in society, it is going to lead us to a very bad place. Because if we normalize the idea of ideas propagating without being well reasoned through, and people advancing viewpoints without listening to and engaging with the opposition to those viewpoints, if we normalize that, that is going to lead all sorts of destructive and untruthful viewpoints to dominate. So there. That's what I have to say. I know that's kind of weighty, I know it's kind of difficult to do, but if you can refrain from making these sorts of assertions without deeper engagement, it'll save you a lot of time and energy, and you can focus your time and energy on the places where you really have something more constructive to offer. And I think we'd be better off as a society as a whole if we all did that. Yeah, that's what I have to say, so thank you for your time, and please comment if you have any questions or you have anything to say about this. Yeah, thank you.